All right, so I've heard that a lot of people are online showing off how strong the characters they've made in Skyrim are, or more importantly, how much damage those characters do. I've also heard that most of the characters the they're showing off are mages, casting spells to do the finished. ideal amount of damage. We've got to sell as much as we can. This seems a little bit odd to me, since spellcasting in Skyrim is mainly centered around reducing your mana cost rather than dealing obscene amounts of damage because the spells are all fixed. It isn't variable how much damage you can do. So I just wanted to show Let's off the it. specs of the dual wielding character that I've been playing since the beginning, who has consistently stayed stronger than the I'm mages I've no. talked are. to other people about, seen my friends playing. And eventually, in Cost fact, in I think it was a couple days ago, I got bored of just playing normally and decided go to just push the game as far as it would go, see how much I could get out of dual wielding. So everything I'm about to show you is just normal stuff, no console commands, no mods. So I guess I'll just start off by showing you what my swords can do at the baseline. Hey, buddy. Yep, he's dead. She's dead. And he's dead. So that's just completely naked. However, if I add the armor that I created, a fight. Okay, that was one hit with a power attack. I shouldn't do power attack. That was almost one hit. Oh, dang. As you can tell, I haven't focused very much on health or armor in this game. I'm d using Daedric armor, but I haven't gotten any of the perks or bonuses for heavy armor. Let me just try equipping my armor before I go down to half health. Run over to this guy. God, my head's nervous. Wing. Okay, that doesn't really count since it's a scripted kill. But she was one hit. And this guy is gonna be one hit. Stand still! Or that lady. Why are all the guards in White Run female? I don't know about this one. I haven't checked. I could probably check like this. Hey, it's an ugly girl or a guy. So reloading again so that I don't have any enemies and then I'll be able to fast travel to other places to show you guys a little bit more of how powerful this stuff is. All right. So let me just show you what the baseline for my weapons are. 172 damage. Two Daedric swords. Now, when I add my armor, I get up to 494 damage on each, with some modest enchantments as well. So, if I want to show off this, I should go over to... Start over here. Shear point. This may be kind of a famous place to some of you. We've played quite a bit of this game. Just a moment. There we go. Alright, Blood Dragon. Fusrota! Okay, psych, that was Dragon Ren. Haha. <laughs> Hopefully he'll land right here. Alright. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Yeah, 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 you're a pretty dragon. You should come back down now. Okay. My mouse got stuck on my keyboard. But, lucky me, he seems to be not headed back down. Now he is headed back down. 
Okay. Let's head to somewhere else that will actually give you a better idea of how powerful these are. That was Shear Point. Let me get my bearings. Alright. Should be Shear Point. And then there should be two dragon places over here. Oh. Got confused. Alright. Elder Dragon I was looking for. Got Dragon Rend out. It's gonna make it pass, but not do anything. And then it comes down. Okay. So that was one power attack. Seems I got one critical strike as well. Let's see how the Elder Dragon here fares. Assuming there's an Elder Egg Dragon here. If you guys didn't know, you can click on the objects at loading screens and drag to make them rotate and come closer and further away. No dragon up here. All right. No, I'm kind of tired, so I'll just show you guys. There you go. 130% more. Which makes my swords do, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see 2274, but you only see 113 damage here. That's because the game wasn't built to render damage above 999, so that's actually 1137 damage you're seeing up there per sword. You're probably saying, oh man, this is all cheats. Well, it isn't. I will show you, or rather tell you what I did. By going to White Run. And showing you precisely. So in general, some of you may be familiar with in Morrowind how you could create potions to fortify your alchemy. And then, after fortifying your alchemy, make stronger potions to fortify your alchemy or your intelligence either way one of the best places to do that was in Balmora well I noticed a few days ago that you could enchant equipment to fortify your alchemy in this game and you could create potions to fortify yes. your enchanting in this game although the cycle isn't infinite because you only get about 25 percent of what you put into that enchanting back out in your potion so, for example, at top level alchemy, all the perks, you can create 25%. Yeah, potions of enchanting plus like 25% <laughs> effectiveness. If you get a piece of armor that you can enchant to give you plus 25% more effective alchemy, then your potions go up to like 30. 29% more enchanting. So as you can see, the difference ebbs off over time. So what I got up to by creating armor that fortifies my smithing by 29% per piece and alchemy by 29% per piece, four pieces for each effect. So that totals up to, I think, about 114, 116% additional bonus to smithing and alchemy. That allowed me, or rather the smithing on its own, with a potion of plus 130% smithing from my alchemy, allowed me to create a <laughs> Daedric sword that did 172 base damage. And then I created a potion of enchanting plus 32%, and with top level enchanting already, that allowed me to create armor pieces, which you see right here. Raging God Necklace, one-handed attacks do 47% more damage. And I think there are about four pieces 
that have that one, two, three, four. For any given effect, there are about four pieces of armor that can accept that effect, armor and jewelry. Anyway, so that gives me 94%, 188% more one-handed damage just from my armor. And that brings my swords up to 494 or whatever they were, huge amounts of damage. And then you drink the potion that you create with all the fortify alchemy effects from my smithing armor, that potion gives me plus 130% one-handed damage. All together, you get the immense numbers you saw earlier. Anyway, thanks for watching.